Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is God's will and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 26 and verse 39. He went on a little farther and bowed his face to the ground praying, My father, if it is possible, let this cup of suffering be taken away from me. Yet I want your will to be done, not mine. The last day we spoke about the need to dust off our prayer altars and to understand that prayer is not about needs only. In our anchor scripture today, we see Jesus teaching us by example something simple yet very profound about prayer. The scene is set in the Garden of Gethsemane shortly before Jesus was to be betrayed and crucified. The Bible says Jesus knelt with his face to the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, let this cup of suffering be taken away from me. And now this is the part that I want us to meditate on. Yet your will, not mine, be done. Jesus was faced with a situation that was painful and really agonizing to think about. He could have just prayed and said, Lord, please, this seems so hard. Cause this whole mess to stop. But Jesus understood what effective prayer is. So he said, this is my desire, but I submit my desire to your will. My dear listeners, prayer only becomes effective to the one to whom God is truly Lord and Father. Because if God is Lord, prayer then becomes a vehicle for the actualization of or the enthroning of the will of God at every given time. Remember the Lord's Prayer, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Effective prayer entails much more than reeling out needs and decrees about carnal and physical things. Prayer is giving God legitimate access for him to carry out his plans in your life and in your circumstances, whether his will causes you discomfort or pain or not. And yes, God's will can cause discomfort and sometimes pain. Sometimes your foregone comfort is the opportunity cost we pay for having God as Lord. Read the Bible and see it for yourself. Do a quick audit on your prayer life. How much of God's will do you pray? What does your daily prayer consist of? Whose will do you enthrone? Then pause and look at Jesus' example of not just this prayer in our anchor scripture, but other prayers he prayed and then do a comparison. Is Jesus the example you are following? It is okay to start out as a believer who just prays about needs and and God will honor you at that level. But even the Bible says that we are expected to mature as believers and begin to do things maturity brings. Effective mature prayer is about enthroning God's will in a life, in a territory, in a circumstance. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Lord, we pray, let your will be done in our lives, in our nations, in our territories, and in the world. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audio devotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.